There are a few existential questions we can ask about the universe that will take us well beyond the limits of not only humanity, but of life on Earth in general. Talking about the life on Earth, scientists believe that in the future, there are plenty of ways Earth could go. It would smash into another planet, be swallowed by a black hole, or get pummeled to death by asteroids. There's really no way to tell which doomsday scenario will be the cause of our planet's demise. But one thing is for sure, even if Earth spends the rest of its eons escaping alien attacks, dodging space rocks, and avoiding a nuclear apocalypse, there will come a day when our own sun will eventually destroy us. So how would that happen? Let's find out. Welcome to Mystery Hub, where we unravel the deepest and darkest mysteries of the world for you. In today's video, we are going to talk about a terrifying new discovery on the sun which has left scientists shocked. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The sun is a star, and like all stars, it is essentially a ball of hot plasma. It lives at the center of our solar system, with all the other planets orbiting around it. Astronomers have made these amazing space discoveries that have taught us so much more about our sun and our solar system and how it affects our planets. However, a recent mysterious discovery on our sun has astronomers worried for our safety. Burning Hydrogen We know that the sun survives by burning hydrogen atoms into helium atoms in its core. In fact, it burns through 600 million tons of hydrogen every second. And as the sun's core becomes saturated with this helium, it shrinks, causing nuclear fusion reactions to speed up, which means that the sun spits out more energy. In fact, for every billion years the sun spends burning hydrogen, it gets about 10% brighter. And while 10% might not seem a lot, that difference could be catastrophic for our planet. The predictions for what exactly will happen to Earth as the sun brightens over the next billion years are pretty uncertain," said Gillian Scudder, an astrophysicist at the University of Sussex. But the general gist is that the increasing heat from the sun will cause more water to evaporate off the surface and be held in the atmosphere instead. The water then acts as a greenhouse gas, which traps more incoming heat, which speeds up the evaporation. But before it ever even runs out of hydrogen, the sun's high-energy light will bombard our atmosphere and split apart the molecules and allow the water to escape as hydrogen and oxygen, eventually bleeding Earth dry of water. And it doesn't end there. A 10% increase in brightness every billion years means that 3.5 billion years from now, the sun will shine almost 40% brighter, which will boil Earth's oceans, melt its ice caps, and strip all of the moisture from its atmosphere. Our planet, once bursting with life, will become unbearably hot, dry, and barren, like Venus. And as the steady thump of time drums down our existence, the situation will only get more bleak. Solar Winds as Earth sails through the solar system, the wind is never at our backs. At every turn, torrents of hot, charged particles called solar wind come streaming out of the sun, crashing into our planet at about 1 million miles per hour. Lucky for us, Earth's magnetic field deflects and dismantles the harshest of these winds, allowing little more than a warm breeze to penetrate the planet's atmosphere. For our troubles, we even get to see a colorful light show, the Aurora Borealis and Australis, which shimmer in the sky as runaway solar particles dance toward Earth's magnetic poles. It's a good situation for now, but new research suggests that our planet's magnetic shield may not always be so strong, and solar wind will only get more and more powerful as our local star approaches its ultimate demise. In a study published July 21st in the journal Monthly Notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, a team of astronomers calculated how the intensity of the sun's solar wind will evolve over the next 5 billion or so years. When our star runs out of hydrogen fuel to burn and balloons into a tremendous red giant, by then, the sun's wind will become so strong that it will erode Earth's magnetic shield down to nothing. The researchers found from there, much of the planet's atmosphere will be blown into space, and with it, 
all remaining protection from harsh stellar radiation. Any life on Earth that managed to survive that long will be swiftly eradicated, the author said. We know that the solar wind in the past eroded the Martian atmosphere, which, unlike Earth, does not have a large-scale magnetosphere. Study co-author Aline Vidado, an astrophysicist at Trinity College Dublin, Ireland, said in a statement, What we were not expecting to find is that the solar wind in the future could be as damaging even to those planets that are protected by a magnetic field. All good things eventually come to an end, and one day, about 4 billion or 5 billion years from now, the sun will burn through its last gasp of hydrogen and start burning helium instead. As the sun sheds its outer layers, its mass will decrease, loosening its gravitational hold on all the planets. So all the planets orbiting the sun will drift a little farther away. Its atmosphere will stretch out to Mars's current orbit, swallowing Mercury and Venus. Earth, on the other hand, has two options, either escape the expanding sun or be consumed by it. But even if our planet slips out of the sun's reach, the intense temperatures will burn it to a sad, dead crisp. The Sun's Final Breaths According to a new study, scientists believe that billions of years from now, our sun will eventually run out of hydrogen that fuels the nuclear reactions in its core. Without this fuel, the sun's core will begin to contract under its own gravity, while the star's outer layers begin to expand. Eventually, the sun will become a red giant, an enormous red orb whose radius extends millions of miles beyond its current boundaries. As the sun's outer atmosphere expands, it will blaze through every planet in its path. Mercury and Venus will almost certainly be obliterated, and Earth may be too, according to NASA. After a billion or so years of expansion, the sun will collapse into a shriveled white dwarf, dimly smoldering for another few billion years before the lights flicker out completely. If Earth does manage to survive the sun's violent transformation into a red giant, our planet will be left in a solar system that's very different from how it is today. As the sun's core contracts, its gravitational tug on the planets will weaken, causing any planets that don't get gobbled up to drift about twice as far from the sun as they are today according to NASA. The radiation oozing out of the red giant sun will also be significantly more intense than it is now. Now, how intense will that radiation be, and can Earth's magnetosphere survive the onslaught? In their work, the researchers modeled the winds from 11 different types of stars with masses varying from 1 to 7 times the mass of the sun. The researchers found that, as the sun's diameter expands toward the end of its life, the speed and density of solar winds will fluctuate wildly, alternately expanding and contracting the magnetic field of any nearby planet. Ultimately though, in the models, each planet's magnetosphere was always quashed by the wind's intensity, the authors wrote in their study. The only way for a planet to maintain its magnetic field through the entire course of stellar evolution is if that planet has a magnetic field 100 times stronger than Jupiter's is today, or more than 1,000 times stronger than Earth's. This study demonstrates the difficulty of a planet maintaining its protective magnetosphere throughout the entirety of the giant branch phases of stellar evolution. Lead study author Dimitri Veras, an astrophysicist at the University of Warwick in the UK, said in the statement, Besides being a fun reminder that life on Earth is doomed, this research has implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. Some astronomers think that white dwarf stars could potentially host habitable planets in their orbit, in part because these dead stars create no solar winds. So if life does exist on an Earth-like planet around a white dwarf star, then that life must have evolved after the star's violent red phase ended, the searchers wrote. In other words, it's extremely unlikely that life on any planet can survive the death of its sun, but new life could spring up from the ashes of the old once that sun shrivels up and turns off its violent winds. So. The wind may be against us now, but one day, it will be gone. 
hopefully, for some worlds out there in the universe. That means new life and smooth sailing. And this is it for today. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.